Good afternoon, my name's Craig down at Total Triumph in Taunton. Um, what I've got here today is a set of Rocket 3s. The sun's sort of finally come out down here and we've got the opportunity just to show you around the three new Rocket models um, all in one place. Now, firstly, the factory custom. This is a limited edition bike, just 750 of these worldwide, of which the UK has 175 units. This one's actually my own bike and um, in a minute what we'll do is we'll, we'll get the ignition on, fire it up and have a little listen to it. What's interesting on the, the factory custom is Triumph have gone through it back to front, um, gone through the whole thing and revised fit and finish. Um, so for instance on the ex full exhaust system, the headers, um, the, the bodywork, the, the, the paint scheme on there, everything has been um, sort of breathed on if you like, even down to the bespoke factory custom handover pack, leather sort of um, backpack, bike cover, leather seating, you can see the carbon detail and even the, the, the clocks and dashboard are different, you can see the, the limited edition number. It is a truly spectacular bike. What's best about it is under the skin it is not a Rocket R. Although your riding position is familiar, um, it has these sort of mid-set pegs. Um, it, it has a flatter bar for a better feedback, um, handling being key. It also has nitride coated forks down there. Um, and engine wise, this bike makes about 10% more power than a normal two and a half litre Rocket R or Rocket GT. Um, fitted a standard with the Triumph shift assist, which is your sort of uh, up, up and down quick shifter, auto blipper um, on it. So it is a truly special bike and one they will not reproduce. That's one of their sort of um, promises on these factory customs. So the, the Bobber, the Rocket, the, the Truxton, they are exclusive bikes. That is the whole point of them. Now on to Rocket R. So I've done quite a few miles on the R and it is a brilliant machine. Feels much, much sportier than the Rocket of old. Um, it turns with um, much less resistance, much quicker steering. And this engine um, is just staggering. It has similar torque to the old bike, but it revs up a lot quicker. It has a shorter stroke, which makes the engine more compact and much lighter internals um, which make it, it, it much more responsive. Um, similar to the factory custom, got beautiful detailing on your rear foot pegs which are just hidden away in this panel here. Um, got these exquisite wheels, um, beautiful sort of back end to the bike with this sort of afterburner type LED light and the fit and finish is, is really nice so aluminium all over the place um, on this intake plenum, matched up on the rad guard and through other details like your filler cap and tank strap. Um, so the Rocket are say, brilliant handling and it can be customised to give a bit more practicality. So it's very common for customers to fit on the heated grips. Um, yeah, a little fly screen and indeed the, the Bluetooth connectivity kit we can install on the dash. And last but not least, so our first GT only turned up a couple of days ago. Um, most notable on a GT then is this particular colour scheme. So also available in black, but the silver with the black and red detailing, especially out in the sun like here, it really is very, very pretty bike. Um, a GT differs mechanically slightly. Um, comes as standard with a much more comfortable uh, pillion seat. Um, and a slightly lower rider seat, so it might be of interest for people who are shorter in the leg. Also has this aluminium sort of sissy bar built into the, the rear subframe. That has an element of height adjustment on it as well. The wheels, although the same structure as, as the R and the TFC, the um, GT has this beautiful detailing on it, um, this machined face, so it really sort of pops out. Um, looks very, very nice. 
Now, rider position differs. So on the GT, we can see under cylinder one, we've got our foot pegs, our forward controls. Um, whereas on the other models, so the GT, uh, the, the R and the TFC, you can see the foot pegs there under cylinder three. Also on a GT, where the, where the R has this very flat bar, a GT is lifted much further up and further rearward for comfort. So think of it as a little more of a cruiser. Bear in mind this still is a two and a half litre, um, 160 pound foot muscle bike, but with a little more creature comfort. Now in the UK, the GT includes heated grips, includes the fly screen, the um, rear sissy bar, and it comes in at just 700 pound more than the R. So in, in our sales terms, the, the GT is slightly ahead of the, the R. So stepping back through them, if I get back to my factory custom here, we can hopefully fire this bike up. A quick flick of the um, ignition switch and we'll um, you can see there's one mile on a clock on my bike so far. Um, so there's a few features on here which um, until we've road tested it for the first time and got our 10 miles on it, we can't um, fiddle with and sort out too much. Just gonna change the dash so you can see it a bit clearer. And then if I drag the clutch in. We can fire it up. So I'm gonna take out my TFC in a second. We're gonna just get the 10 mile road test on it and see what this slightly more powerful engine's like. Um, I say I haven't actually ridden this yet. I've got plenty of miles on the normal bike but with another, well, best part of 20 horsepower, um, a more aggressive riding position. It should be interesting. Stop back on our YouTube um, page and I'll tell you a bit more about it shortly. Thank you.